China's economy may be slowing, but the brakes aren't being applied to Caterpillar. The American heavy equipment manufacturer announced it's opening its 24th factory in China near Shanghai. Our cover story takes a look at business still very bullish on China. The expansion in China means Caterpillar, world's largest maker of monster-sized earth-moving and mining equipment, continues its focus building infrastructure in developing countries. But there is competition from within. Observers say China wants to develop its own heavy equipment business to enhance its trade positions in South America. China wants to make that equipment. They want to sell those products in South America because they're trying to get their natural resources from South America. So they're trying to maintain a balance of trade. Caterpillar's road did have its bumps. The Chinese subsidiary it acquired last year overstated its profits. Despite that, Caterpillar's sales and revenue in 2012 neared $66 billion. And the U.S. Chamber of Commerce says there is reason to believe China is still a good place for business investment. The survey of more than 400 U.S. companies in China found 73% of them profitable in 2012, though that's down from 78% in 2011 and 79% the year before. Still, rising wages means more money in consumers' pockets. Starbucks wants to nearly double the number of stores it has in China to 1,500 within two years. The Starbucks stores in China are huge. Uh, lots of windows. It's a place to be seen with your friends. It's a prestigious experience, and uh, it's really catching on. At Starbucks' annual shareholders meeting, CEO Howard Schultz predicted China will be the company's second largest market after the U.S. Ten years ago, nobody in China drank coffee. Now the, now the growth rate of coffee consumption in China is in the double digits. So not only Starbucks, but many, uh, many coffee companies such as Starbucks are all trying to get in there and get, get coffee companies, coffee cafes established. Already, Starbucks has control of more than 60 percent of the market share in China, and that makes China Starbucks' fourth largest market behind the U.S., Canada, and Japan.